This is a review for the Roborock Curivo Master. This is the best premium robot vacuum we've tested so far. Let's take a look at how it performed in our tests. The Master's airflow was measured at only 12 CFM. Its suction was measured at only 0.11 kPa. It's unclear why its raw performance measurements were so low, because it performed very well in our real-world vacuum tests. In our carpet deep clean test, it picked up 7 grams of debris after 3 passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. This was on default power, and on maximum power, it picked up 10 grams of debris. This is a well above average result, and it's a better result than that of the Q5 Max, a robot with more measured airflow and suction in our tests, and an identical dual brush roll design. We can only conclude that the master, for whatever reason, didn't ramp up to full power in our airflow and suction tests. The master was also a top performer in our carpet stress test. It picks up more debris after a single pass than most competitors, and gets close to a perfect clean after a second pass. The master performed just as well in our hard floor stress test. It once again picks up very well after a single pass and gets close to a perfect clean after a second pass. It also passed sufficiently close to the edge to pick up edge debris very well. The master did not perform well in our crevice test on default power. Even after extensive runtime, it still could not pull most of the debris out of the crevice used for this test. It performed much better on maximum power. Most competitors performed just as poorly on default power and considerably worse on maximum power. In our human hair pickup test, the master picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush rolls and had to be cleaned off manually. You can see here how most of the hair tangled around this brush roll. This is still an average result though. Most competitors have a very similar tangle rate. The master performed very well in our pet hair pickup test. It picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. The Curivo Master is very well equipped for mopping. It features hot water mop washing, mop drying, a self-cleaning docking station, and it features an extendable mopping pad. It also performed very well in our mopping tests. In our new high volume dried on stain test, the Curivo Master cleans up very well after a single pass and gets a perfect clean after multiple passes. In our new sticky stain test, it very effectively mops up the top stain and cleans up a good chunk of the corner stain. Compare these results to those of the Curivo S, which doesn't have an extendable mopping pad. The S model doesn't clean the top stain or the corner stain nearly as effectively. Both the Master and the S model can lift their mops up to 10 millimeters. And like the S model, the Master didn't have any trouble lifting its mop during our mop lifting test. Moving on to navigation, we tested the Curivo Master's general cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a clutter room. In our empty room testing, it starts off the run pathing in a very efficient row by row cleaning pattern. Midway through the run, we do see it bouncing off of the left edge a few times, but it quickly resumes pathing in rows. Notice how it paths in both horizontal and vertical rows, so that it approaches all debris in the room from two perpendicular angles. This ensures the highest probability of it being able to pick up especially stubborn debris. It gets excellent coverage in this test as well. In our clutter room testing, we again see it pathing very efficiently, except that it bounces a few times, this time off of the right edge, midway through the run. Otherwise, it paths very precisely around all of the larger obstacles used for this test. It doesn't really move any of the obstacles as it cleans around them, and it cleans in both vertical and horizontal rows in the few open areas of the room. Finally, we can see that it gets good complete coverage in this type of environment as well. The master uses a top-mounted laser for its general navigation around larger obstacles, but also adds a front-mounted RGB camera and 3D structure light system for small obstacle detection. To test this functionality, we placed five small obstacles in the same room. And in this test, the master properly detected and avoided all five of these small obstacles. We ran this test multiple times, and the master consistently detected and avoided all five obstacles in each trial. This gives it much better obstacle detection and avoidance than most other robot vacuums we've tested. The similarly priced UFES-1, for example, was only able to consistently detect and avoid three of the five obstacles. The cheaper Curivo S only consistently avoided one of these five obstacles. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Roborock Companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, 
or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the master's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the master one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The Curevo Master picks up surface level debris on carpet and hard floors very well. It gets sufficiently close to edges to pick up edge debris very well. It deep cleans carpet well on default power and exceptionally well on maximum power. The Master is also a top tier mopping robot. It performed very well in our mopping tests, cleaning edge and corner stains much better than most competitors with its extendable mop. And it has a very well equipped docking station that automatically washes with hot water, auto dries and auto empties. Another positive for the master is navigation. Using LiDAR, it navigates very precisely and efficiently around larger obstacles. And using a front-facing camera and 3D structured light system, it perfectly detects smaller obstacles according to our testing. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, the Curevo Master tangles very easily with longer hair, and it has a below average size dustbin. It's also one of the more expensive robot vacuums we've tested. When it comes to general recommendations, the Curevo Master is the best premium robot vacuum we've tested so far. It provides better performance and more useful features than any other robot we've tested. If you have the budget for it, we highly recommend it. See the description of this video for a link to buy this robot and for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.